Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at a new project I've been working on. So, since I had some wood already uh, chucked up in the CNC, I decided to make a new project so that I've been having on the drawing board for a while. What is it? I don't know. Can you guess? Um, tell you what. Let's do it this way. So, uh, you kind of see where we're getting at. Let's do a quick time lapse of this cutting out on the CNC. It's kind of cool. Um, because I'm going to do, uh, I'm kind of experimenting with some time-lapse stuff. So take a look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And then we'll come back and look at assembling this. And then you'll get what this is. Uh, I also put the files up on the internet. So if you want to make this yourself, you can download it. Um, by the way, if you're a 3D printer, you can download this, the uh, the STLs, and, <coughs> sorry, the SVGAs and create STLs out of them. Pretty simple to do, and you can adapt this for 3D printing also. So I may even do a, a video on that. So anyways, time lapse. So welcome back. Here we are. So we've got the finished parts. I put a little light sanding on it. Um, again, kind of interesting. What this is, is a rocket fin table. So long story short, these slide in together like that. And this goes on top. And it provides a rocket fin, whoops, get it down here in camera view, rocket fin table. So now I'm going to paint this up and what happens is four screws go in here. Um, I wasn't sure on the screw size and everything, so I didn't have it do a countersink, so I'll do that manually. And plus, this is only pine, so um, no big issues there. So I'm going to go ahead, paint it up, and then we'll come back and take a further look at it. Um, oh, before I do that, um, I just, just wanted to talk a little bit. So what I actually did, how did I make this? Uh, that's probably a good point. So I went on to the Internet. I found a rocket model, a PNG. I imported it into Inkscape, and then I, dupl I, I cut off the top part of the rocket. You'll see the rest of the rocket in another video. And then what I did is I duplicated these, and then I cut off an equal portion of the top and bottom. That was approximately the width of the, the board. Um, it's a little bit looser than I wanted, but it's okay, uh, especially for a first prototype, because... Um, uh, you know, the screws will hold it together and from moving. And also, what happens is a little bit of playroom allows it to sit level on the table to be kind of self-leveling, and then the screws will hold it together. So um, that's a little bit how I made it. Kind of the point of the videos, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to go paint it. So see you back here in a few minutes. Get, grab a coffee. It won't be long. To you, it'll be milliseconds. Welcome back. So we've... Uh since you last seen us, we've uh, finished painting the fins. 
we've attached the top and it's uh came out pretty good now um painting it with water-based latex has raised some of the grain in it and um very frankly i didn't do the best job because it's kind of crappy pine but um it came out actually pretty okay so i like the design a lot um would be kind of cool to do it in a hardwood um and actually stain it and then what i'm thinking about doing is putting a cork top on here seeing seeing a cork top out and gluing it on here and then you can set pretties and things like that on it but all in all i really like the design how it came out so uh yeah all not pretty pleased with it so uh anyways uh i'll put the uh, plans down below you can download them from the internet you know just be uh, weary that you need to change the gap in the bottom for whatever thickness of material you're using and you know it's 50 50 on both sides um, so anyways hey if you found <coughs> found this build interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel a lot more stuff like this coming um, so stay tuned subscribe cheers just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects